What's up ladies and gents, my name is Dalton and welcome to my channel. Uh, as many of you know, I ride bikes. This is actually my first video. I uh, just got a hold of a GoPro Hero 8, so I wanted to get out, shoot some test footage, see what everything looks like, uh, mess with the settings and sort of figure out what works while on the bike. Um, most of the time, I'll probably be shooting in action. GoPro Hero 8 is pretty cool because it has some high-end settings. It helps with like hyper smooth, so image stabilization is really good. I think uh, the footage I'm going to show you guys is just of a local group ride. Uh, we haven't been able to be racing much right now, so obviously we're kind of we put a kibosh on that. Uh, really, we're just trying to get out, do a group ride, stay active, and uh, this is a particularly fast one. We get out here on uh, Fiesta Island in San Diego and sort of go full gas for about an hour. Uh, some of these laps, you know, are pretty fast. We're doing 29 plus miles an hour for, you know, uh, two and a half miles, three miles at a time. Hopefully the idea with this footage is uh, when I get to a thousand subs, so if that's going to be you, go ahead and hit subscribe. And uh, if I get to a thousand subs, I can actually stream live on YouTube. So the idea is that I can be out cranking on the bike, you guys can watch from the cockpit perspective and kind of see what's going on. Um, hopefully I can kind of trend that direction so when I'm racing live, in real life, you guys can actually see what's going on on you know the back side instead of seeing the peloton come around every two or three minutes. So sort of battling cell connection and things along those lines but definitely want to get out and see what the GoPro could do. And I'm super happy with the results and we'll dive right into it, I'll show you guys what the, the Thursday night Fiesta Island World Championships look like. All right guys, so what you're seeing here is pretty much uh, our first lap out, we do 10 laps. Our first lap is neutral, so we're just kind of cruising along, good pace, chatting, everybody's catching up, and then uh, you know what you, what you will see is uh, we're about to step on it and pick up the pace. First lap uh, after the neutral lap always comes out super hard. Guys are throwing attacks, it's basically full gas, and then uh, we sort of calm down a little bit after that and um, everybody can kind of relax, find some structure, and then people start rolling, throwing attacks here and there, and just kind of getting into a rhythm and making it fast. So we've definitely picked it up at this point. Uh, now everybody's actually moving. You probably got some riders off the front here. I'm pretty much just sitting in the back of the peloton, tail gunning, if you will, saving some energy. Uh, I was pretty tired from the week. So I'm just gonna sit here and make excuses for why I was hanging out in the back and actually not doing any work. But uh, yeah, this is where it gets fast and we start really moving. Uh, you can see a lot of guys sort of trying to jockey for position, but honestly, it's so fast that at this point, you know, we're 29 miles an hour. Um, there's really no headwind to slow everybody up and have everybody sit up. So what happens is the field's just getting super strung out. And if you're stuck on the back, you know, you have to go a hundred yards to even move up in this group. So, um, you know, if you're willing to put in the wattage and, and really dig in, you can you can get up to the front and be sitting 10, 10th, 15th wheel, which is sort of the ideal position here. But, um, you know, in order to get up there, you have to just really put the pedal to the metal. Uh, you want to be, you know, putting down some serious wattage to get up there. So it's always better to kind of wait until you slow up, you see the group bunch up a little bit, that's kind of a good opportunity to just slide up and then, uh, you know, you, you'll be in a good position to cover any attacks that go off the front. Really what I'm most excited about here is just the footage is killer. I mean, this is kind of a low light setting. It's been getting dark earlier. You know, I, I think it gets dark around like 7 o'clock now, or even maybe 6.45, but, um, you know, we're coming into the time change pretty soon, so as it gets darker later and later, um, we're kind of pushing up on sort of our limits here of how late we can go. And, and one thing that's super cool with the GoPro is some of these shots just look awesome. It's like golden hour out here, not to be too cliche, but, um, you know, great lighting. The GoPro handles it well. It, it, it adapts super quickly. Uh, it's super smooth. I mean, even when I'm out of the saddle and I'm really pushing on the pedals, um, it, it's just, you know, smooth as butter. Absolutely zero problems. The super wide shot is amazing too. You can see the ocean off to the right, uh, here in the bay. You can see pretty much the whole field. It gives you a good perspective of guys moving up on the right and the left. 
Uh, overall, I'm super happy with the shot that I'm getting out of the GoPro. Super high quality as well. Uh, can't complain about that at all. Yeah, 60 frames per second, shooting 2.7K. The action is just fantastic. One quick thing to note though is that, you know, we're constantly getting neutralized by cars on, on this, I guess, course you would say. Uh, it is open to traffic, so, you know, we try and be respectful. Plenty of cars pull over for us and let us cruise by, but, you know, um, when we're coming up on cars at speed limit and whatnot, so, um, you know, we definitely get neutralized. Can't be going quite as fast as we would like to the whole time, but, it definitely provides us a very welcome break here and there, especially after, you know, you bring back a few riders off the front. So I went ahead and I cut to the last lap here. Uh, this is where things kind of start to get interesting. I think at this point we've kind of dwindled some guys off the back of the field, but uh, we're still rolling pretty fast here. Guys will start to move around a little bit. You want to be towards the front. We do have kind of a finish line out here. Um, once in a great while, we'll actually get to sprint it, what happens, uh, and you, you'll see that at the end of this, spoiler alert, uh, is basically we get slammed by cars you can't really get around them so you know not everybody gets to contest the sprint if you're one of the lucky five six guys that shoot through you get to finish strong and it's just all in good fun um you know everybody wants to be there at the end and and, and fighting for position but obviously everybody wants to just be safe about this and make sure that we all get home in one piece uh no sense in doing anything dangerous on a thursday night group ride um, so one thing that's interesting, uh, fast forward to the last lap here, one thing that's interesting is, you know, we're, we're stuck behind this trailer, uh, about this time a, a friend of mine, Max, he rides for guillotine cycling, he actually comes up on my left, he's like, alright, I'm going to lead out man tonight, basically that means that he's just going to ride out my front wheel and I'm going to try and stay on as long as I can, so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you'll see him come up in just a second, uh, he's going to blow by me, I stay on his wheel and he actually drags me up to the front of the train, which is super, super helpful, especially when, you know, I don't have to put out all that power to get up to the front of the group and, and get in a decent position. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. We're about to go in the last lap. And uh, so here goes Max. I'm just basically like, all right, time to stick this wheel. And hopefully I can follow him up. Um, and, and this guy's riding in a t-shirt out here, putting down big watts. So <laughs> if that tells you anything about, you know, how hard he's riding. It's, it's pretty nuts. So we get up here, uh, we find a good slot, and we are able to sort of dive into the group. And about that time, I'm, I'm sort of fighting for Max's wheel with uh, a couple of the courier guys. And uh, I think there are a couple of other guys in the group that are also trying to sort of get up here and grab a good position. 
So one of them actually says to me, he's like, he just says, hey, let's get it up the left side and, and we'll just try and go for it. And I said, all right, sounds good to me. And you know, that ultimately puts me in a great position. You'll see right about here, I think. Yeah, right about here. Um, Tim actually is his name. He, he comes flying through and I was like, thanks man. <laughs> so, so he takes off and drives us to the front and basically we just roll it from there and I'm trying to sit in and stay in the best position possible and just hang on these guys wheel till the very end. Hopefully contest a sprint, um, you know, we'll see. So as we get around the back side of the island here, it's just all out, full gas. Guys are going on the front, driving the pace as hard as they can. Honestly, at this point, we're probably doing 33 miles an hour. Um, this section is usually super, super fast because we have a tailwind. But actually tonight, uh, what was really interesting is the wind was kind of mellow. So that meant it was just super fast all the way around. So you see a couple riders go. They're shooting off the front right here. We're all just basically trying to chase, make sure we stay on. I kind of start to get swarmed here. So I'm realizing that I basically need to jump up there and, and jump on these guys or I'm toast. But inevitably, as is the case with all Fiesta Island World Championship sprints, we get held up by the cars and basically that botches anything that would have been you know competitive for fun and uh you know personally i love to sprint I, I think it's fun always good for improvement and you know working on position figuring out where i need to be in a sprint and you know just getting better all the time and so basically you know we're pretty much slammed here in traffic and so our sprint kind of gets ruined a couple guys dragged to the line anyway i think i put down a little bit of power here just to try and see what i could do but Ultimately, I was pretty cooked. So anyway, uh, this is Fiesta Island. This is what you get from the GoPro Hero 8. And for me, you know, I think it's gonna be perfect for when we do start racing back up. And that's pretty much all I've got. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that footage. It's uh, pretty cool to be able to, you know, film what I'm doing live and uh, share it with you guys. So if you enjoyed that, um, go ahead and Crush the like button for me, hit subscribe, and you'll be able to see any update that I send off. I uh, appreciate you guys bearing with me. I know the audio and everything is maybe not the best right now, but uh, I'm just filming on the GoPro Hero 8 that I just got a hold of, and hopefully, you know, this develops over time and I can uh, get better audio for you guys and maybe lighting and whatever else is all wacky in here. So, appreciate it, and uh, see you guys soon.